Okay, uh, good morning everyone. So today's uh, session is about uh, exam trade. So into the exam trade, uh, it's all about uh, export and import activities. So basically, we do have uh, uh, various types of export activities where uh, we can consider that as a uh, physical, even about uh, deemed. So when you have to take the consideration of uh, physical export, your product is being identified by one of the country where they would like to expand the promotion activity of uh, their country and uh, they would like to extend the relationship with your country so physically they are going to approach you for exporting your commodities to their country and you want to make this consideration to get happen but what exactly this deemed export means yes basically into the deemed export you would like to extend this export activity to any one of the particular company in some other country and uh, you want to create the impression as such like uh, the exported product is available physically in that country now you have the difference between physical import and deemed import physical import physically you have received that particular uh, uh, account of sale activity that proposal has been received from one of the importer but the deemed export is not like that you only have identified one of the organization over there trader over there in that importer's country and uh, intentionally you are making the export just to make the sales to get happen to expand your market okay so the next point there are certain pros and cons advantages and disadvantages of export activities first point is about uh, uh, potential growth is going to take place potential market can be accessed very easily yes many of the untapped markets may be getting exposed with the help of this export activity so I can simply tell that sales maximization is most important here and come to second point it reduces the risk and uh, balancing growth yeah basically export activities as we people have learned in a uh, uh, few of the chapters as such like uh, yes uh, we do have export activities and import activities sometimes this uh, balance of payment is completely depending upon what kind of uh, commodity we are buying or selling whether that's a uh, capital goods correct so these are the amount of questions may go for uh, raising into n number so the capital account transaction itself need to be balanced separately trading other account also supposed to be balanced separately so here the trading account activities whatever we need to maintain the balance of payment that is going to be reduced that burden can be reduced risk can be reduced with the help of export and the third point is about uh, production capacity will get enhanced or it increases production capacity ultimately your target is to increase sales so sales may go for uh, increasing your scope or else area approachable that uh, when it is going to be wider area approachable automatically you need to enhance your production capacity 
otherwise you cannot able to reach the demand correct so ultimately export increases production capacity and uh, gain the new knowledge and experience 100% it is going to be support you in terms of uh, gaining a better amount of knowledge and experience in the market where uh, when you are going to enter some other country you can go for uh, understanding the uh, cross cultural movement maybe you may go for understanding the consumer behavior in a different manner from your host country to home country correct so ultimately you are going to gain a new knowledge and experience pertaining to trading activity and comes to certain amount of disadvantages yeah the first point is about extra cost involved so extra cost involved into this particular momentum yes when you go to do the export activity it is not a easier task to sell your goods if your label if your brand is not being promoted in that particular country now you are understanding the reality okay so when you would like to enter into the international trade activity that particular country where you are selling the goods that particular country consumers they have to feel your product they need to feel so pride to buy your product that consists of extra cost for the promotion activity sales cost correct i'll come to the next point is about uh, financial risk is involved yes when you are doing the trading activity with some other country okay so in that country if that buyer or importer is deny your product after receiving that commodity it is very much sure that it's a biggest question that how you are going to receive the balance amount if he denies your product after receiving the product a number of financial risk is associated okay that is one of the possibility what i told maybe possibility is there at your home country only gate 1 gate 2 during that time you may not able to receive the pass from the quality control assurance team of your own country possibility is there financial risk the whole amount of product what you have produced customized product what you have produced for the sake of some other country which may not be able to get sell it off correct third point is about um, export licenses and document it is not so easy to get the export license and the uh, making the documentation it may take uh, months to gather amount of uh, transaction maybe we will discuss this uh, export licenses and uh, document in the uh, next uh, session how it is difficult to get a license and documentation and the last point for the day is about the market information this gathering market information and the having the reliability on that market information what you have gathered is the biggest question because uh, when you want to collect uh, that particular data by at your own maybe that is as according to your point of view that is correct but if you have gathered secondary data that's the biggest question how far it is reliable that question will always be there about the faith or belief thank you so with this note uh, i'm going to end up the session about uh,
advantages and disadvantages of uh, export thank you so much to everyone sir.